Hi, I'm Brian. You know, if I could let you into my head for one minute and show you what it's like when my disease is talking to me, it would look something like this. Hey, what's going on, homie? I ain't seen you in a while. How you been? Huh? I'm all right. How are you, man? How you been? Hey, you know, I'm good, man. You know? I miss you, man. I ain't seen you in a while, you know? I just, uh, I had a question. I just want to ask you something, you know? You got a question for me. What? What's your question, man? What do you want? Well, man, I was just wondering, man, like, uh, since we ain't hung out so long, you know, do you think we go down the way and just get one? We only got to get one. You know, what's the harm in just getting one? You know? Come on, what do you say? Oh, you just want to hang out and just get one? Just one. Um, look here, man. You ain't going to have me on the corner with a crack pipe. Standing there talking about yellow caps, red caps, blue caps, thunder caps. Ho! What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Truth Addiction. The channel that deals with the disease of addiction and all the ways it manifests itself. I am a recovering addict. My name is Brian. And I have a disease which is incurable, progressive, and fatal. But it can, however, be arrested. And at some point, recovery is then possible. Uh, I just wanted to say this. Today is a special day for your boy, right? So, somehow, we, because I'm in a, you know, a program with people around it, um, we have gotten six years clean today. Thank you. I appreciate it. I can hear you just clapping out there. Well, at least in my head, I can, you know. But I figured I would take this day, you know, just little sweet short video just to let you know how much i appreciate the people in my life right because without the power of the people in my life i would be getting high i would be in jail i'd probably be in an institution at least and, and i may be dead and those are just the facts because that's the game we play when you have the disease of addiction, those are your three options unless you enter recovery. You need to do something to treat your disease, right? So I just wanted to give some hope, you know? I don't wanna be self-serving on this video. I just wanna give some hope, right? If you're struggling out there, I get it, man. I don't want to go through that withdrawal. I've tried a hundred times to get clean. I just can't do it. I just need you to understand something. That is your disease. And the reason you don't, might not know it's your disease, because it talks to you in your own voice, right? That's what it does. It's all about lying, manipulating. We, we lie and manipulate to ourselves, right? Let alone all the other people around us too. Friends and family and loved ones, you know what I'm saying? We do that kind of shit. That's what we do. So I just wanted you to know. I remember about a year before I actually got clean. I remember the day where I had said to myself, you know what? You just have to accept the fact that you're going to get high for the rest of your life. So we need to come up with some kind of plan on how we're going to get this money every day. That's what I believed. Because using a drug had become instinctual to me. I needed the drug like I needed to drink some water. I needed the drug like I needed some food, man. And after a while, food and water wasn't even important. I just needed the drug to survive. I was one of those dudes, I don't know if you've seen these videos yet, but in Kensington, because I'm from Philly, I was one of those dudes. Them drone dudes walking around like this and shit. They weeble around, but they don't fall. You know what I'm talking about? I was one of those dudes, man. And listen, I have done some fucked up shit in my life. 
I destroyed my kids' lives with my using. I'm still uh, in the process of trying to mend that somehow. I don't even know how that's going to happen yet because they're a little older and it's up to them to get in touch with me. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, they'll call you if they want to. And I got to kind of take that on the chin. You know what I mean? And I just accept it for what it is right now. We don't get everything back just because we get clean. But listen, you need to give yourself the opportunity to get it back, right? So what I do is I stay present in the day. I make myself available. This way, when that ever happens, they do enter back into my life. I'm ready. I'm ready, right? And they never may enter back in my life. So what I try to do is find redemption in other ways until that happens. So I just try to carry the message. I try to be good to people. I try to love on people. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, that's what recovery is all about to me. It's about love, how to give and receive love properly. So listen, if you're struggling, I know all the lies your head tells you, man, but I need you to get in the rehab or something. You need to get that drug out of your system. Get past that withdrawal. I promise you, it's going to suck, but you can do it. You can do it. You can get through and make it to the other side, man. And I'm telling you, man, you'll be in a position at that point to start to recover. Abstinence from the drug must come first. Without that, you can't do anything, right? You have to get into a state where you start to love yourself. Because if you don't, it just ain't going to work, right? I entered a 12-step program. I kind of urge you to do the same. It's just my opinion. We all have different ways that we get clean and stay clean. But for me, I can only speak of what I know. What I do know is my particular program is written in about 80-something different languages. And it's in about 130 different countries. So there must be something to it working, right? So give yourself a break, man. You can get and stay clean, right? Because one addict helping another is without parallel. And I'm proof of it, man. And I just want you to know, I love you. And I just want to see you succeed in life. Other than that, I'm going to get out of here. I got some videos coming up. I'm doing a couple more interviews. You know what I mean? They seem to be doing well. In the meantime, if you could like the videos, check out the channel, leave some comments, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And for those who have, I love you straight up. I love you, baby. You know what I mean? So anyway, just remember this. The disease of addiction, it's broad. And it's outside of the realm of just using drugs. And with that, keep coming back. More will be revealed.